Hey guys, I'm Mike Levitsky and I got another drum lesson for you this week. This time we're going to be working on 30 second notes. A uh, quick little fill, it's only 16 notes long, so if you can do the math, you can see that only takes up half a measure. So this is a two beat fill phrased in 30 second notes. Uh, they're playing basketball outside here where I'm teaching, so if you hear any noises in the background, it's the basketball game going on. I hope that's not too distracting for you. Uh, let's get right into this. Uh, in the intro, I played a couple of variations of this fill. You can orchestrate it any way that you want, but let me go ahead and show you the sticking and uh, the way that I orchestrated it. And um, hopefully you like that and you can use it this week. I'm going to break down the fill for you now. The first half going to the snare drum, you can actually use on its own and it'll be kind of a, a quick stop. Uh, that's this section. So you could stop on beat two in your groove if you want to stop there, or you can play the rest of the fill and end with a crash on beat one, or a hard stop on the hi-hat, and we'll talk through what each one of those looks like. The first four notes are right, left, right, kick. So to get that down, you could just practice. And you could do that over and over and over. Take a look at my video on getting better at gospel fills coordination, and I talk through just uh, different places to put the kick in with 16 notes that will help you to play these kinds of fills. It's orchestrated between the hi-hat and the floor tom, so we're going to go right, left, right, kick. Now, if you notice, I kind of roll my wrist over when I play. I don't move my whole arm. That feels really hard for me to do. So, the motion is... That's going to help you to get there quicker. Just take your wrist, turn it over. If you play French grip, that's going to be a little bit harder. If you're here on the hi-hat, you will have to do the arm. So start in a German grip with your palm flat to the ground. And that way, when you roll your wrist over, your stick will end up on the floor tone. Okay? I'm sorry I'm looking down when I'm talking. Uh, if you roll your wrist over while you're in a German grip, your stick will hit the floor tone. That'll help you get a little bit more speed there. After that kick, we're going to take the left hand from the hi-hat and we're going to cross the hands. We're going to put the left hand on the floor tom, the right hand on the hi-hat, and kick. So that's left, right. So here we go. We got right, left, tom, kick, left, right. Now as the bass drum is hitting uh, that first time, you want to be moving the hands. So this whole thing's fluid. You never want to stop and then kind of jerk around to different places. It's really fluid as you're moving around the kick. Alright, next you're just going to take the right hand down to the floor tom, the left hand to the snare drum, and go right, and that takes us to the, the end of the first section of the fill. And you could stop it right here if you want. That would sound like this. Ooh, sorry about that. really important that each note is right in line with the next note. That's what's going to give this type of fill its sound. If you're kind of a little dirty, it's not going to sound as, as fast. It's not going to sound as smooth in your groove. It's going to sound maybe like you're making a mistake. So practice slow and make sure you get the motion down. It's important to keep the hands close to the body in small motions. You don't want to be all flailing around. It's going to really slow you down. All right, after that, we finish out the fill with kick, kick, left, right, kick, right, left. That sounds kind of cool by itself. Anyway, work on that, have fun with that. Uh, here's the whole fill, all together, nice and slow, so you can see it, with the sticking. Right, left, right, kick, left, right, kick, right, left, kick, kick, left, right, kick, right, left, crash, or stop. So if you were doing a hard stop on one, you could do something like this. 
there, or if you're really quick, you might be able to get the left hand in, or just go straight to the snare. Like that. Something like that. Or else just go for the crash. Now there's a couple of variations. There at the end where you have kick, kick, left, right, kick, kick, left. You can uh, cross the hands a couple times, which I did in the intro. You can move it to the tom, you can move it to the ride. Just try different variations and find something that you like, the sound that you want to hear when you play this fill, and um, play it that way. Or else you can play the provided orchestration. I'll play them nice and slow with different orchestrations. <laughs> guys, I hope you have fun with that one, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next week. Uh, make sure to practice, be sure to like this video if you like this fill, or if you like me, or if you don't like me, like it anyway. And, um, ooh, I think they're trying to bust in here. That's kind of scary. Anyway, uh, be sure to like this video, leave a comment down below, check out my channel, and I will see you guys next week.